Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to talk about gill flukes and internal worms and how to treat them in this case or any other fish. So let's get right into it. So what are gill flukes and body flukes? Gill flukes and body flukes they are their tiny parasites that affect primarily the gills of the fish. So what to look for in your fish if you're trying to identify if the fish is infected with gill flukes. So if you're keeping discus, one of the things you will notice in discus when they're infected with uh, gill flukes is that they will shut one of their gill and they will breathe from the other one. They do this at different times, not necessarily when they're infected with flukes. If they're doing it occasionally, it is fine. But if they continuously to shut one gill and breathe from the other, and it continues to go on like this, they're most probably infected with gill flukes. Now, there are different signs of gill flukes. One of the signs is that a perfectly healthy fish will suddenly get lethargic. It will, it will start to shut one gill and breathe from the other. Its appetite will go away. Pay close attention to the fish because there are other signs that might follow. As the concentration or the infestation of gill and body flukes increase in your tank, the fish will start to scratch its gills on different objects in the tank and with time they will start to scratch their body as well their gills as well they will be breathing very fast you will feel they're having trouble breathing if you're seeing all these symptoms together or some of these symptoms together most likely your fish is infected with gill flukes or and body flukes now if you're keeping this because i have noticed that for some reason discus are much more prone to gill and body flukes compared to other fish so if you have been noticing your fish and you are 100% sure that your fish are infected with uh, gill and body flukes it's time to treat them before it gets too late now in the beginning i said we will talk about gill flukes and body flukes and internal worms why did i say so because the medicine we use to treat gill and body flukes is also uh, used to treat internal worms as well okay so what are the medicines we can use to treat gill and body flukes one of the medicines we can use to treat uh, gill and body flukes is praziquantel now praziquantel is a medicine it is believed to be very effective on gill and body flukes and some other issues it is easy to use uh, but one thing i want to tell you that praziquantel comes in liquid and in powder form now if you get it in powder form uh, from my research i found out that it is very hard for it to mix in water people try different uh, strategies to get it water soluble so it is not as easy to mix in water so keep that in mind and if you can find praziquantel in liquid form well you're good to go so praziquantel is one medicine you can find praziquantel in prazi pro you can find praziquantel in api general cure you can find praziquantel in para cleanse by fritz these are all the companies that are making uh, Praziquantel. Maybe there are other other brands also making Praziquantel out there, but these are some of the known brands. And no, this video is not sponsored by any one of them. I'm just giving the information that I have. Other than Praziquantel, another medicine that you can use is called Flubendazole. Flubendazole is the medicine itself. The the products containing Flubendazole is one of them is a Kushuri Warmer Plus. It is in powder form. I personally found this medicine uh, to be a bit of a mess to mix. Uh, it's powder form. You have to take it out. You have to mix it uh, in a bottle of water and shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it a lot before you add it to the tank. So it's a little uh, inconvenient to mix, but if, if this is what you got, uh, you have to use it. Flubendazole is also effective for internal worms and certain parasites, so it is also a, a good dewormer for your fish. Another product that contains flubendazole is called Anti Fluke and Warmer by Anti Labs. Yeah, I had to check it in my phone. It is much, much easier to use. The medicine is in liquid form. You just have to shake the bottle and you and there is a, a dropper with it and you just add it to your tank. It is much easier to use. It's much cleaner way of medicating your tank. There is another medicine called Secum Paragard by Secum. Now this medicine, it doesn't contain flubendazole. It can be used to treat uh, gill, gill and body flukes. This is the medicine I use to treat the infestation in my tank. But I have to tell you that you have to use this medicine a lot. You have to use this medicine on daily basis until all the symptoms go away. And from my personal experience, I noticed that even when all the symptoms go away, you should still continue to medicate your tank for at least seven to 10 days. 
so if your entire tank is infected i will tell you and if you have and especially if you have a bigger tank i will tell you that you have to use a lot of this stuff and i have also found that some of the fish especially angel fish are very sensitive to this medicine whenever i use paragard in my tank so if you're having angel fish try to avoid this medicine and if you have to choose one of the one of the medicines i just told you i would tell you uh, keep the paragard as your last option because you have to use this medicine a lot and for a very long time and also that i just mentioned to you i found that angelfish especially get really stressed out with this medicine so there might be other species that might not like this medicine paragard it is basically uh, mostly for uh, external issues of fish it does not do anything for internal worms and stuff so if you're looking to do uh, deworming as well as clearing your fish out of any flukes flubendazole is the way to go so i hope you learned something new today and this video was helpful to you guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps my channel a lot and please leave your comments below if you have any suggestions if you have any questions if you found this video useful please let me know in the comment section and uh, enjoy the hobby i hope to see you guys next time until then peace